any significant lifestyle change in my life requires um, an environmental change as well. So I have to change my environment if I also want to see a significant lifestyle change um, or a change in my life. In recovery, uh, something that's really common we see a lot with people who are still struggling in their addiction is geographic change. So they'll move to another city or state hoping that that is what, it, what they need to get sober. But what happens is they take their problems with them and they reestablish themselves in a new place with the same behaviors and the same people and they have the same result. So this place is now a negative place. And they failed to realize that it wasn't the location, it was their environment. And your environment is everywhere you go because you create it. Um, and this doesn't just apply to, you know, uh, aside from big transformational changes in your life. Every couple years, I, I pursue a higher level of, I, I seek to grow, I, I, but I'm very intentional about it. I try to elevate my life and business and relationships and all that stuff. I try to step it up, and I'm very intentional about that. When I do that, I invite people into my lives, and I start going to different places, and I frequent, um, I, I create a new environment for myself. I create an environment that will create the person I want to become. So I create the environment before I'm actually that person. But our environments train us how to behave. They teach me how to behave. They teach me how to live. And I create my environment. We all create our own environments. So it's very important for us to own that, hold ourselves accountable, be intentional, and choose to be around positive people and choose to do positive things. So be intentional, be positive, have a great day and a great week. We'll see you next time.